Vancouver Resource Investment Conference. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are now at the booth of First Majestic Silver, and with me here is Keith Newmeyer, the CEO of the company, who wants to give us an update. Keith, welcome and good morning. Oh, great <laughs> seeing you again. Yeah, great having you here, and thank you very much for taking the time. And by the way, Happy New Year. Happy New Year as well. <laughs> Looks like 2020 uh, is going to be a good year, I think. Absolutely, I see it also, and I think it's uh, the start of a new decade for precious metals, for sure. Mm, for sure. Um, 2019, you just put out some production numbers. Maybe you want to comment on that a bit? We had another record year. You know, uh, our production was up 15% year over year, and mm -hmm. our profitability is increasing. Uh, we don't have our financial numbers out yet for uh, Q4, but we had a huge Q3, uh, mm -hmm. big cash generation. We had we generated over $20 million in cash in Q3. I'm hoping to see a similar number for Q4. Okay. Oh, fantastic. Great. So the production numbers were what altogether? Uh, I mean, about 20, equivalent? yeah, 20 Four million ounces. Wow, uh, okay. Yeah, and about 60 plus percent of that is uh, silver, and the rest is gold. Okay, fantastic. Um, obviously, you also do a lot of exploration for sure. So, were you able to replace the production this year? Well, actually, quite easily. Uh, we we had a record uh, exploration year. We did 220,000 meters. Oh my so goodness, that's, that's a lot. Uh, you know, oh. 2,200 kilometers yep. of, dr of underground drilling. Mm -hmm. You know, over 30 drill rigs are active throughout the year, and uh, we added reserves. Uh, we'll be putting out our new uh, reserve resource numbers at the end of March, mm -hmm. and you know, look look for those numbers. And we did easily replace what we mined. Super. What's the life, the average life of mine now? Well, they're all different. Uh, San Dimas is, you know, it's the, you know that mine will be producing for decades into the future. I think the actual mine life, and I don't want to be incorrect in my number, but it's well over ten years. Mm -hmm. uh, Santa Elena, same thing, over ten years. Mm -hmm. Lincoln Tad is uh, more likely three, four years. But these are underground mines, and and you'll never drill them out because these structures just go on, you know, forever, basically. Mm -hmm. Fantastic, great. Yeah. So I would say there's enough room for you to do your work as you do it, and of course to do more exploration 2020 what's new what do you want to achieve what are let's say super important uh, targets you have you know technology is a big thing for us um, mm -hmm. you know I, I you know first majestic you know is not one of the big multinationals you know we're very you know we're a big company you're a three billion dollar market cap but you know there's you know there's other companies like tech Cominco, you know much much larger companies than, than, than us that are doing some pretty nifty things on the technology side and you know, for a company our size I think we're one of the leaders as well uh, we we for example we just put a uh, a new uh, mill in a specialized what they call a hig mill high intensity grinding mill it's the first one ever installed in Latin America it's only it's the only one running wow. uh, right now in all of Latin America it's really exciting uh, the uh, recoveries at Santa Elena went from 88% to 96% as a result of wow. this yeah brand new that boosts economics I would oh, say yeah <laughs> for, for a six million ounce producer yeah you know that's three or four hundred thousand ounces of silver yeah for free uh, for free yeah basically for free yeah uh, so it's pretty exciting. So that same technology is being put into San Dimas this year. The machine itself just arrived in, in Mexico uh, about a week ago. So it'll be shipped to site and yeah. it'll be installed over the year. And hopefully by the end of 2020, it'll be up and running. And then Look Tata will also be getting one. It's actually now on site, but it's uh, we're doing some special engineering there. So it won't actually show up until 2021. But you know, there's a lot of exciting technologies out there. And you know, over the next decade, the mining sector is changing a lot. Yeah. We're, you were losing, we're using less power. Yeah. You know, these machines use 50% less electricity. Wow. So that's burning less power. Less fuels, yeah. you know, less of an environmental yeah. impact and lower costs. Yeah. If you would compare this, let's say, um, the investment you are doing into this new technology compared with the outcome, mm -hmm. um, and if you value this to, let's call it, traditional technology and the outcome, where mm -hmm. would you see, um, uh, let's say, more profitability or better yield on that? Yeah, this is super new technology. So, you know, to answer your question specifically, we need time. Mm -hmm. You know, we if all when anyone adopts new technology, there's always risk. And that's why a lot of mining companies don't do it because they don't want to take the risk. You know, they they use 120 year technology, you know, the the steel ball mill, yeah. uh, which is in every mine around the planet, First Majestic has 21 ball mills. Yeah. We spend $5 million a year on steel balls. We spend $5 million a year spinning these 21 ball mills around in electricity costs. Yeah. You know, it's just stupid. So yeah. so there's new technology. It doesn't use any balls. It uses half the electricity. 
Uh, it gets five plus percent extra metal out of the out of the rock, so five percent extra recovery. And it, 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 so it, what happens is your cyanide consumption drops, your retention time drops mm -hmm. because of the finer particles. Yeah. So it has an impact throughout yeah. the entire process, yeah. and it's very difficult to measure yeah. what the actual outcome is. We know internally what our projections are, mm -hmm. but you know it need, we need time to actually okay, start to prove that to prove the technology. Yeah. But That's could right. you say like that probably? Uh, if I hear those numbers, I would say this, this would boost your profitability easily by 20%, 30%, right? Well, you know, it's... it's uh, In comparison. I, yeah, you know, I'm not sure if it's going to be quite that high, but I, I could see 10%, you know, quite Which easily. Which would be a lot. Yeah. Super. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it could yeah. be higher, but uh, yeah. it just depends on, you yeah. know, several things. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I always love to talk with you about the markets, of course, supply mm. demand. Yeah. And uh, as I found out now, uh, an e-car electric vehicle mm -hmm. has 2.2 ounces of silver now on board okay. in comparison to 0.8 to 1 ounce to a combustion engine. Mm. So again, a driver for silver. Solar is a big driver for silver. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I would say, um, as I always used to say, our wives, when they do their shopping in the future, that's mm. one of the biggest drivers because RFID chips. Right. Yeah, like Inditex, Zara, they are all using that now. Well, so, even the use of the computer. Exactly, or, or, computer or, or, use, yeah, yeah. all But that stuff. Yeah. This is something which is brand new mm -hmm. because they are taking like 20, 40, 50 billion closings mm -hmm. with RFID now. So I think yeah. there are new markets mm -hmm. coming now on stream, but the silver market itself is not rising. So where, yeah. where, where, where do you see as a projection for the next two, two years, for example, the markets? Well, look, wait, wait. Yeah, as you know, I left a copper company back in 2000. So, you know, I'm a big believer in supply demand fundamentals. And when I decided to put a silver company together, I did it for the reason of supply demand fundamentals. And this mm -hmm. is back in 2002. This is before. Which was the right decision, by well, the way. Well, <laughs> it was. But remember, like electric cars didn't exist back yeah. then. Uh, uh, solar panels were didn't really exist back yeah. then. Uh, so these are new big technologies that are even making that supply demand story much more dramatic. You know, we're in a deficit. We've been in a silver production deficit for years. Uh, miners are producing less silver today. You know, you saw Coeur d'Alene's uh, uh, guidance uh, just last week, uh, down silver for 2020, Pan American down silver, Fresnillo down silver. All these big mines are producing less silver. Mm -hmm. Silver's way rarer than people think it is. You know, we're only mining eight to one worldwide. Can you imagine? We're trading 85 to one, in the metals, you know, market, yep. eighteen dollars to fifteen fifty, uh, and we're only mining eight to one, or every one ounce of gold, eight ounces of silver. It's a big like, mismatch, that, I would say. Yeah, that's like it doesn't make any sense at all. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it's a big problem in the silver space. Uh, we're getting approached by end users, you know, the jewelry manufacturers, electronic manufacturers. Uh, you know, your number of um, you said two point seven ounces. Two point two ounces two, per car. Per car, yeah, yeah. and uh, you know, that's I've an heard, average. Okay, because I've heard bigger numbers than that. Yeah. Um, you know, because you think that, you know, like a Tesla, for example, has, I think, 6,000 yeah. batteries or 6,000, yeah. you know, connections, cells, yeah. cells and uh, each one has to be connected by silver, you know, because of the speed. You know? uh, yeah, the, 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 the battery comes in addition. This is only yeah. for the normal car electronic. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because connecting the batteries at yes. the speed that they have to be connected at, yes. you can't use, you could use gold, but gold, of course, would be, you well, know. Drive a golden yeah, Tesla. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, I, you know, look, I'm super yeah. excited about the silver uh, supply yeah. demand fundamentals. You know, I, I don't know what's going to drive the price. Unfortunately, you know, with the U.S. markets continually hitting highs, you know, the mining sector is getting some notice. Mm. You know, there's big money sl slowly coming into the sector, yeah. but it's definitely not hit the mainstream yet. Yeah, that's right. No, definitely not. Yeah. Absolutely not. They, they yeah. still do not believe in anything. No. Yeah. No. So, projection for the silver price by itself. You know, I when it starts, <laughs> let's, let's call it. It starts. <laughs> yeah. Look, it's it's we're happy where we are. Uh, you know, uh, it's a you know. Don't forget, just a year ago we had fourteen dollars yeah. silver. Yeah. You know, now it's eighteen dollars, yeah, which helps so a lot. So that's a hundred million dollars in in revenue for yeah. us, yeah. and a lot of that just drops right to the bottom line. Mm -hmm. So a twenty dollars silver, you know, that's another fifty million. Yeah. You know, 22, that's another 100 million. So, and we're going to be there. Uh, it's just a matter of time. Yeah, super. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So, 2020 looks quite good, you would say? Oh, I think so. Everything's I think we're, look, we're, we're in the midst of a new bull market. Yeah. I'm convinced. Me too. Uh, you know, with, with uh, yeah. these governments printing money, low yeah. interest rates, it's not going to end. 
Yeah. Uh, they, they, they back themselves into this money printing yeah. corner that's super supportive for gold and of yeah. course silver. And do you know we have the first banks in Europe mm. where you can lend money on negative interest? That's right. You yeah. get money Isn't that back. crazy? Isn't yeah. that weird? Yeah, I that know. makes no sense to me. But that's why well, we need our good precious metals. Yeah. Can you imagine <laughs> if that comes to North America? Oh yeah. my god. Yeah. It would go bananas, it definitely. Would. Yeah. Gold would be five thousand yeah. yeah. dollars. That's right. And silver. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever, one, two hundred. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Easily. Super. Well, thank you. All the best. Thank you okay. very much. Good chat. And uh, we look forward to your numbers then. And we see us at PDAC, I would say. Oh, absolutely. Definitely. Yeah. Because then the numbers are out. They will be out. <laughs> Super. Now make sure thank you, you come much. to our event. Uh, definitely. I would love to. Thank okay. you very much, Keith. Great seeing you again. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it was Keith Neumeyer, the CEO of First Majestic Silver. Yeah. And you heard it. Uh, great production numbers. Uh, 24 million ounces silver equivalent. And uh, everything is in very good shape. The money. The company makes a lot of money a lot of free cash flow and uh, they are yeah doing the right stuff 220,000 meters of drilling 30 drill rigs going on and that's exactly what you want to have produced but you have to replace the production by many many more times and uh, with an approximately eight to ten year mine life for their mines this is fantastic that's how you want to have it so Keith and the team has done a lot of things right check out the company thanks for watching us and bye bye from Vancouver